Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, I'll show you how you can heighten the realism of your scene by adding a volumetric environment. In the previous episode, we created numerous different lighting environments with the help of the Light Gen tool. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the area of perspective and environment fog options. First, let's establish what a volumetric environment is. In the real world, when we look at objects from a distance, they tend to fade out until there is just a smudge of color. This is because of the volumetric environment, which can be humidity, haze, or just air pollution. These are small particles in the air that appear transparent, but by looking ahead in the distance, they add up and create the so-called visible range in an atmospheric condition. These effects can be replicated in 3D as well, with the help of the aerial perspective or the environment fog options. Both options can simulate fog, mist, smog, and other effects. The main difference between the two options is that the environment fog can create volumetric light, like God rays, which we'll cover later on. Let's start an interactive render to visualize both options. When we enable the volumetric environment, we'll have the aerial perspective on by default. Let's take a look at the different options. The visible range is the distance from which we can see the fog. By adding higher numbers, the fog will be pushed further away from us. The atmospheric height indicates the height of the volumetric environment. Note that by increasing the height, the lowest parts will be less visible and the highest points will be more visible. Then we have the light multiplier. This option and the filter color are mutually beneficial. Based on the filter color you add, the light multiplier will increase the spread of the color inside the fog region. The filter color greatly depends on the environment of your scene. In this case, we have a cyan colored sky, which indicates that the color of our volumetric environment should be in that range of colors. So let's add just a tiny bit of cyan. The effect background is an option that allows the aerial perspective to interact with our background. Now let's check the other option, which is the environment fog. The properties in the environment fog are pretty similar to the aerial perspective attributes. As mentioned earlier, the environment fog has an option to create volumetric shadows. You might have seen this effect early in the morning when a sunbeam coming from the window creates a path of light, also known as a god ray. You can increase or decrease the effect by fiddling with the distance parameter. I will not add any filter color in our interior as the light coming from our sun is mainly white. And just like that we have our god ray. Note that this effect works best in scenarios where there is little to no light. Then the beam of light will be more visible and lively. Another thing that the environment fog is really good at is to simulate smog effects. So let's head back to the exterior and turn on the night setup. The setup consists of a night HDRI and a spherical lamp to light the inside of our house. When it comes to atmospheric conditions, it's a good rule to have reference images of what you're aiming for, so the effect doesn't become too unrealistic. As mentioned in earlier tutorials, we're aiming for a Scandinavian style house, so we should try and match the atmospheric conditions from that region. The last option we're going to explore is the Scatter GI. This option allows for a more accurate representation of your fog, as it takes into account light bounces. Note that this option will add additional render time. In this tutorial we set out to understand the aerial perspective and environment fog. We went through their options and I showed you how you can replicate real-life atmospheric conditions. Join me in the next episode, in which we will finish our exterior shot by adding the final touches in the VFP. I hope you were able to find something useful that you can try in your own visualization. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.